Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we are going to talk about the fishes. What's the one favorite thing we do? Is it playing? Is it sleeping? Or is it eating? Well, why not all of them, right? But eating is definitely at the top. Those burgers and pizza, those juicy meats. But some of us like to eat some fish. But what are they and where do they come from? We are surrounded by so many types of fishes. They live in both salty and fresh water. Salt waters refers to the sea, which is very big and much bigger than land. Fresh waters are the rivers, lakes, and ponds. Some of the fishes are grown in farms so that they are safe from predators. In the ocean, fish live in coral reefs and even the deepest dips. Coral reefs also make the ocean deep so colorful, so let's help in conserving them. Now for a fan fact. Did you know that water makes up 71% of Earth's surface? That means land is only 29% and most water on Earth is the ocean. Now let's go back. What are some characteristics of fish? Fishes are vertebrates which means they have a backbone like us, humans. Most fish are covered in scales. This helps them move more quickly through the water. Some fish have a slime layer over the scales that make them so slippery and helps with speed. So if you think you can catch a fish without a fish hook, then think again. Fishes have gills that help them to breathe underwater. Gills extract oxygen from the water. They have also their fins on their body to help them swim in a direction. Fishes also lay eggs like the birds and reptiles. In fact, they lay so many to keep their population high. But sharks produce their babies like humans. They don't need eggs. Now did you know that some fish can fly? Yep, they are called the flying fish. Actually, they just jump into the air from water and then glide using their long fins. And they're yummy too. Now what do fishes eat? Fishes in the aquarium are fed with food fed pebbles. But in their natural homes like the ocean, they find their own food. Some fish are omnivores. That means they will eat the other marine animals like worms, smaller fish, and crustaceans. And they can also eat plant matter and small organisms like plankton and mosses. Some fish are just carnivorous. That means they eat other fishes and other meat sources like sharks, who is not afraid of sharks. But fear not because sharks are not really aggressive towards humans. They only see shadow from above and think we are seals. That's why sometimes they try to attack. How do fish protect themselves? Fishes have many techniques they use to protect themselves. Sometimes fishes travel in school. Now we're not talking about the school where students take classes. Schools of fish are large numbers of a certain group of fishes that travel together. Another way that many fish protect themselves from predators is to camouflage or blend in with their environment. That means they go invisible. Fish will adapt their colors to match the sand, or even have fins and scales that look like plants so you could see in the coral reef. Now what are some kinds of fish out there? There are over 30,000 different kinds of fish, all of which have their own colors, shapes, and sizes. In some species of fish, it is difficult to tell which are male and female because there are no visible signs. But in some species, the male and the female shape differently, like males are sometimes more colorful and stylish. One of the freshwater fishes are the salmons. Sometimes they just jump out of the water and you can catch them. Most piranhas live in the rivers of the Amazon, but don't be afraid of them. They don't really eat humans. They are carnivorous though, so they eat whatever meat there is. Most of the fishes live in the ocean. Sardines are one of the most abundant that sometimes they travel in a school that could fill up an entire gymnasium. A dogfish is a type of shark that likes to eat small fish, squid, shrimp, and even crabs. Some species of fish have developed ways to swim fast like the tuna, which is one of the fastest fish there is. Tuna is a species that can swim up to 70 kilometers per hour. Other fishes have special shapes of their faces like the hammerhead shark that is shaped like a hammer or the swordfish that has very sharp and long noses. 
puffer fish are shaped like a ball if they bloat. Now for a fun fact, the mudskipper fish has the ability to spend half of its time outside of the water and actually use its fins to walk on land. Hmm, a walking fish. Seahorses are a type of fish and are the only species that swims upright. And fan fact again, male seahorses are the ones that get pregnant. Once the female lays the eggs, the male carries them until they hatch. While we call jellyfish, starfish, and crayfish fish, they are not really kinds of fish. Now want to hear some fish facts again? Did you know that fishes are cold-blooded and they cannot control their own body temperature? Some fishes actually help each other by removing parasites and dead skin from their scales. Maybe you sometimes wonder how fish can navigate in dark and muddy waters. Well, fish have a special organ called the lateral line, which is similar to a radar, which is used to detect things and helps them to navigate. And lastly, did you know that many of the brands of lipsticks available on the market contain fish scales? But don't eat the lipsticks though. So learners, now we know that there are lots of fishes in the ocean. They serve not only as a yummy food, but they're also beautiful. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Have a nice day.